Hello, welcome to the Worldwide Center of Math. This is the first video in a series of videos on the basics of mathematical proofs. Uh, in this series, we will be going over uh, different types of mathematical proofs with some basic examples. Now, mathematical proofs use deductive reasoning to bridge two statements together, which is different than how science does it. Science starts with a hypothesis, and they can only show that a hypothesis is false. Uh, where theories from science come in is they test these hypotheses many times, and when they can't prove them false, they assume that they're true. But in math, we can show that things are true. So, in the, the simplest way, or the most basic mathematical proof, is the direct proof, where you start with a statement P and show that a statement Q will naturally follow. And the basic structure of a direct proof is to suppose that P is true and then use logic and axioms and definitions and uh, already proven mathematical facts to show that Q is true. And uh, the best way to learn proofs is to start with simple proofs. So, let's start with P being <clears throat> if there exists an X which is odd, then show that X squared is odd. And to do this, we'll use the standard definition of an odd number. which is that an odd number is, I'll just write it down here, um, will be 2 times an integer n plus 1, where n is an integer. So let's start and say that x, so let x equal to 2k plus 1, where k is an integer. Then we go x squared, which is 2k plus 1 squared, which by the notation of squaring, you multiply it by itself. We will FOIL this out to get 4k squared plus 2k, plus another 2k, plus 1. And we will simplify that to get 4k squared plus 4k plus 1. And what we'll do is we'll factor out a 2. And now what we'll do is we'll define let j equal to 2k squared plus 2k. Uh, now, k, uh, j must be an integer because it's defined through k, which is an integer, and therefore x squared is equal to 2 times j plus 1, which matches our definition of an odd number. And therefore, x squared is odd. And you can see this follows the same structure as what I gave here. We assume x is odd by defining it like so. We went through some basic arithmetic um, using this definition to arrive at x squared is odd. And in case you wanted one more example, we can do one. Now, 
let's say for our p, if we have, um, let's see. So we'll have integers a, b, and c, and we'll say a divides b and a divides c. And we are going to show that this implies that a divides b plus c. And to do this, we will use um, a definition for a, what it means to divide another number. And so, if a divides b, this means that there is, a is a multiple, or sorry, b is a multiple of a. So, we will define a to be n times a, where n is an integer. And we will define, oh, sorry. This is b is a multiple of a. And we'll define c to be also a multiple of a. Now, the b plus c is na plus ma. We can factor out that a. And since the addition of two integers is also an integer, this means that um, b plus c is a multiple of a, and therefore a divides b plus c. And we started with p, and we arrived at q. And you can use direct proofs for much more complicated uh, proofs, but the simplest way to start using direct proofs is to start at the basics. And that is this first video on direct proofs. To see more uh, of mathematical proofs, you can click here for the playlist. To subscribe to our channel, you can click here. To visit the centerofmath.org, you can click here. And if you're on a mobile device, there is an I in the top right-hand corner, and you can click that for the same links. Thank you for watching.